So hello and welcome back guys. I hope you're having a great week tip. Now, today we are here with a new mockup like any other day and today we have a round table mockup and to download the file the PSD file of this mockup you can go and check out the description box where we have provided the link already. Now, at the very beginning, we will take ping tool. Usually we do that. We'll take pen tool and then after selecting it, we have to notice that this option is in shape. Then we will press Ctrl plus and we'll zoom in the picture so that it is easier for us to select. And then we will create the points and select all the materials here. So as you can see, as you know, we roughly do this and then later we just Take the add anchor point tool and we'll just adjust the curves here. So as you can see, I'm taking all the curves and making it all prominent. You have to make sure you have not selected any extra parts, neither any lesser parts. So no part should be left out or taken extra. The better selection you do, the better it will look. So, while you do this part, this is a very crucial part, be very careful. So, as you can see, add as many as points you need and make the curves properly. As I can see, these points were not selected as the paint tool selects only in the straight line. So, we will add the curves here with this tool this particular tool these two tools are very very necessary the ping tool and the add anchor point tool all right see how i am doing it you can slow down and watch it more carefully if you want wish to So as you can see, I have already selected the whole table cloth actually. As you can see, it is it has been selected. So as you can see, there is a new layer created in the name of shape one. So you will take a round shape and we will draw this shape by pressing shift. Then we will change the color of this round chip and then we will after clicking right click on this then we will convert it to smart object and we will decrease the opacity a little then we will press ctrl d and then we will transfer it to scale and then we will adjust the shape the sphere that we had taken the 2d image actually not the sphere and then we will adjust it and then we will select perspective and then we will adjust the perspective a little the tiltation and everything and then again we will press the right and from the bottom part we will take a rectangle tool and then in similar process we will change the color and then we will convert it to smart object smart object to do that press right click on this and then select the option convert to smart object then decrease the opacity so that it is easier for you to understand then press ctrl t and then wrap after wrap then select arch from the topper part upper part and then adjust the arch adjust it press ctrl d and adjust as you want it to be and then as you know, we just have to go on to the mask. Okay, now we will do that, we will do that in next part. You have to, before that you have to place this particular rectangle very very minutely so that no part is left out or else this will not look really good. Now, as you know, this is a very important part. I told you we have to do the masking. 
watch very carefully we will first take the first smart object there are two smart objects say right? div and that we will take paint tool and then we'll keep it on shape layer and then we will go on right click on the shape that shape and then we'll go to make selection then press ok and as you can see the tablecloth has been selected and then after clicking on the tablecloth we will select mask from the buttons this is one way that you can do and then we can do another way that is first go to shape make selection and then press ok so as you can see there you can see the selection has been done then you can go to smart object and mask so smart object has been overlapped with the other so what we will do we will go on the round smart object and select it and then the other smart object we will go there and we will press ctrl shift so it will be done and then we will go and select a pattern and then drag and drop in the smart objects now both the smart objects will be in similar pattern because as you know it's a single table clock now adjust all the patterns you need to then save this if need to save the pictures always just so it is updated in the main picture then do the second part the rectangle part you again you have to save then only the main page file will be updated now you can see it has been updated then switch off the shape one then press control shift and press on the mask as you can see the whole table has been selected and you can just take out this table okay now we will press ctrl j and make one copy of it so as you can see we will go and then we will go to adjustments and then we will go to saturation and decrease it just so it is all white then again we will press ctrl j two more times so we will have in total three copies and then and we will name them as light middle and shadow usually you know this part very easy it is very similar for almost of the mockups now we will make the shadow linear bird for the mid tone we will linear dots at and then we'll go to levels and then we will just point adjust the points the levels a little see how i'm doing it yes that looks more realistic you have to keep that in mind that it has to look realistic then again go to light and make it screen again similarly go to adjustments and then adjust the levels and then press ok and then select all these three layers light mid-tone and shadow and we will group them before that just look at it that uh, it looks perfect for you it satisfies you when it does just go and group them and rename them as fx and the editable parts we will make it red just so we can distinguish from them and differentiate them and that's it for today we have already made a lovely tablecloth and that's it thank you for watching